and the funny thing, Jack, is, you know, you and I, people may view us as Republican, you know, extremists or whatever. I don't view the partisan label as anything, actually. This used to be a liberal talking point back when I was in college. And by the way, I was on the same side of this even back then and for much of my 20s. I've been at the same position on believing that the federal national security state and the federal police state is fundamentally corrupt. And whether that was under George Bush and Dick Cheney or whether it's under Joe Biden or anybody, any other administration today, it's not even about the political class. It's about the unelected bureaucracy that needs to be exposed for its own corruption. And I just think it is so important. I do think it's important we win this election in a landslide. And that's why I think it's important, Jack, that we talk about it in these terms. This is not a Republican or a Democrat issue. This is a 1776 issue, a conviction in the belief that we the people are the ones who actually decide who governs, not an unelected, effectively monarchical bureaucracy that reflects the old world view. We fought an American revolution for that reason. And I think that is the choice in this Republican primary. I think there are other earnest candidates who are in this that will tell you they want to come in and reform the police state or reform the bureaucracy. It is my conviction that reform is impossible. I stand not on the side of reform, I stand on the side of revolution. And I think that is the choice in this primary. We've got to see it with clear eyes. Do you want reform? If so, go with somebody else. Do you want revolution? If so, that's what I'm leading. I believe in the principles of the American Revolution and we should not apologize for the ideals that actually make us ourselves.